Anyway, I'm gonna stick with my same sort of aim for today's session as I did the other day. What's going on Team Twitty? I hope you're all super well. I woke up this morning to a nice little delivery. Uh, we have the steps bands here. I need to go put them in Steps HQ. I also got the steps kit, so that's two deliveries. And then we also got our uh, groceries delivered this morning as well. So it's been pretty busy in the Twitty household this morning, right? Yeah. Oh dear. Man, I tell you what, Steps HQ is really filling up. So I've kind of rearranged everything. Socks, small, and then medium are there for the white. Medi small black, medium blacks are there. And I've set up the resistance bands and it looks so sick, man. So what actually happens, I feel like there's been a bit of confusion with the resistance bands. When you order a set of resistance bands, you'll get six items. Number one is this little, oh, okay, it's tied up. This carry bag right here, where you can put your bands in, take it anywhere you want. Super efficient, it means the bands don't get dirty if you use them at the park. Then on top of that, you also get one yellow, one green, one red, one blue, and then one black resistant band. So you get a set of five. Now the thing I absolutely love about this is, take a look. There's different levels on the resistance band. So it clearly shows you which one is the easiest, hardest, medium, etc. So you just gotta look here. It's clear to see on this green one. The level of the arrows tells you the difficulty of it as you go up. Now this black one, oh man. I really made this one incredibly tough. It's very strong. And look, if you're a younger player or a younger person, it's tailored for you as well. That's why there's a set of five. Sometimes, look, even if you're an older guy and you just want a light activation, the yellow might be good for you. But the black man, oh. So there's five different stages. I really challenge you guys to try the black. It is so tough, whether it's an at-home workout or at the gym. It is tough, man. So we can see that's the design on the front. We got steps with one arrow backwards, two steps forward. That's the brand motto. Sometimes in life we get a setback where we might have to take a step back. And then we always take those two steps forward. We don't let it get us down and we keep moving forward, man. That's the whole motto behind everything here. Everything in these boxes, that's the motto. That's what's behind the brand. It's more than just resistance bands. It's more than just a pair of socks. It's the feeling you get when you wear this stuff. So that's the design. And then on the back, we got some lines and then obviously the difficulty at the bottom. But I filmed a little advert cinematic footage with Finno the other day. So I'll roll that for you guys now. Just heading off to the gym now, but as usual, got to ship out the orders for steps. The first set of grip socks that I sent out, they've reached people's houses today, so I'm getting tagged in a few photos, which is sick. There's something that just puts a smile on my face, seeing people wear something I've created. It's more than just a sock, man. But got to go ship these off. I'll catch you guys at the gym. Right at the gym now, they've got this sort of policy where you've got to have a towel, so... You know, I stick with it. I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of it or whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna stick with my same sort of aim for today's session as I did the other day, which is just go in there, smash the workout, get out of there as quick as I can. And some of you might take that wrong and think, Sheldon, well, if you're gonna get out as quick as you can, you're not gonna do the workout properly. What I mean by that is make sure I'm timing my sets and not letting the set and rep rest time be over like a minute and a half. I don't need that long. I should be pushing through that fatigue and I don't want to get caught on Instagram, YouTube or anything. I just want to focus, get in there, do everything right and get out because today's a big focus of the gym. I want to go in there and hit some big numbers. It's kind of like, it's the focus of the day. But let's go.
Oh man, I'm so knackered. My knees, oh, I'm dying. Because I have minimal rest, it's like I start to sweat and I actually get a little bit exhausted from it, which is good. A solid workout, bench press, did much better this week, so getting stronger, that's good signs. Everything else, better. It's, I just love getting in there and getting out and I feel like I'm doing more. Because I'm doing it under fatigue, yes, the drawback of that means that every single set I'm not up to, well, close to 100%. But working under fatigue, it's not the worst thing. So it's really okay. It's good and it means it doesn't go on forever because I see guys in there, they go and do the exercise and then they sit on their phone forever. And I was like that, I was guilty of that, I'll admit it. But it just takes too long, man. It takes too long, don't have time for that stuff, I wanna, Make sure that I'm doing my workout efficiently and I, I'm interested. Let me know down in the comments. What do you guys think? Do you think it's better to have that longer rest? I've always been advised a minute to a minute and a half and then get back into the reps. Let me know if you guys have heard differently. I'd be interested to hear, but I need to go home, have some food and just <laughs> chill out for a little bit. I'm a little bit exhausted after that workout, man. Woo! It's finally done. I've finished the game analysis and the video. It takes a fair few hours, man. What do I take away from that game? It was very one-sided in terms of possession, but I played four positions throughout game. I did play as a number 10, but I, I'm finding more and more that I'm loving and, and I'm actually quite good at playing as a winger either side and having the ability to free roam. Now, when I say free roam, that means go inside, go outside and not play like a robot. So if the ball is here, I need to be wide. I feel like I'm quite good at reading the game and knowing when to make my run in behind or changing it up and staying out wide to confuse the defender or coming inside and giving another problem. And man, that's the role I've had for the last three weeks and I've scored six goals, two in each game. I mean, the thing that really let me down, I would say is not getting on the ball enough, but again, that goes back to they had a lot of possession. I think my positional play was quite good. I've gone through it all. It's just, we were getting overrun. It was a difficult game and that's why they're top of the table, man. This is a team that is coached by an ex socceroo and they're actually putting in a bid. No, no, they actually won the rights to have an A-League team in the A-League in not this coming A-League season, but the one after. I think the coach there is gonna be a big part of it. So in a year or two, I'll send him that video and say, hey, do you remember when I scored those goals? That was me. Give me a call up, man. Game analysis done. Whew, feels good. It takes a few hours, that man, and it takes a toll on your head and your body and everything. At the table now, Claire, thank you for dinner. Yeah. You've cooked up, looks like sausages take us through it. <laughs> Doesn't look so great right now. I can't really. It looked, it looked very good when I dished it up. It's beef stew and there's a, a, a couple of sausages in there too. Broccolini. Yeah. Looks good. Thank you very much for that. These guys have finished. I was doing some work. You're so, late. Yeah, You're I was late. late to dinner. Grinding. But the video went live of the game on the weekend. Mm. Mm. Cool. And people are loving it. Of course. <laughs> Did you not love two goals for the third? <laughs> Week in a row. Uh, yeah. That's pretty hard not to love. So, Brilliant I hope you guys, too. thank you. Claire wasn't there. Did you I regret not going? Well, I saw them. I saw them. <laughs> I saw them later. Them later. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, dinner time. Game analysis done. It's good to finish it. Just heading up to the car now to grab a ball. I want to do some light juggling inside. I'm feeling it after that gym session. Not every day has to be down at the park and I made the decision to really have the focus be the gym today. That's what I wanted to achieve and I really just wanted to basically hammer myself there and I feel like I've definitely achieved that because I'm hurting a heap. But I hit some pretty damn good numbers at the gym, which is great. So we're gonna head back inside and I'll kind of take you guys through what I'm gonna do. So super easy, I'm only gonna show you guys a couple of seconds of each thing I do, but it's juggling against the wall. Absolutely great for first touch whether it's one touch, two touch, or what I love even more is if you can have a wall there and then have another one there and you go bang, 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 because then you have to open up your body, but it's just a little bit of an advancement. This is a little bit easier. But you just gotta work with where you got. So it'll be touches against the wall, different routines, different sort of patterns, just getting touches on the ball. This will probably go 20, 25 minutes. I, don't, I really don't care about the time. I'll just be going until I feel like I've achieved what I wanted to achieve.
that's that done. It's good. I have fun with it, especially that last one. Just bouncing off the steps, bouncing off the wall. It's unpredictable. And the most important thing, this stuff isn't boring. You always set yourself targets every time. So 50 for the two touch and then whatever it is for the one touch. And then, I don't know, you guys might want to work on chest control or right thigh onto left foot. And it's just working on different ways of controlling the ball. Repetition, repetition, repetition. That's all it is. Just work and... You know, it doesn't have to be 100 miles an hour every single session. It can be the easy stuff, but make sure when you guys do it, you're giving 100%, you're focused, and you're doing it correctly, not just there to have a kick about. Otherwise, it's worthless. You may as well just not do it at all. But solid, solid. Enjoy that. Oh, man. What a day. My legs are killing me. My upper body is killing me from the gym today. I just feel so tired. But that's good. It means I worked hard at the gym, which is exactly what I wanted today. I don't know. It's just an awesome feeling when you come into bed and the vibe you get is, I've achieved what I wanted. It's not such a good feeling when you come into bed and go, oh, I should have gone to the gym today or I should have gone to the park today. That's not such a nice feeling. So... Yeah, we go again this week, continue training, continue working hard. The podcast is going to be back for you guys because Maddie's not slacking off. Uh, Wednesday and Friday morning AU time that will be released. But yeah, we go back to work. It's simple. It's no special formula. It's just hard work. So, 10 tweety. I'm signing out. Make sure you like it. Subscribe now. This is Johnny. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.